I have one slide to talk to you about, maybe two slides, and we're going to go right to pages that have been submitted. I have not seen these pages. Uh, they're in a deck, and they have been submitted by you for live optimization. We're going to put you to work this morning, okay? And uh, we're going to work together to try and find answers. So take a look at this. How many of you here are familiar with the conversion heuristic? If you're not, you can, there's resources everywhere at Marketing Sherpa Mech Labs where you can read and understand this. This was a heuristic that was developed from patterning behavior across 20,000 plus path tests and experiments. With the patterning of behavior, we realized that the probability of conversion is equal to four, as in the coefficient four, as in its relative significance to V, the clarity of the value, as it is to two in CINIF, which is a positive, minus friction, which is a negative, and minus anxiety. Now, you might find, when you look at that, various questions, but I've never seen a page where you, if you thoroughly think through this process, you can't see. And the, the goal of the heuristic is not to help you see better. The goal of the heuristic is to help you see with new eyes. The heuristic is like a lens that you put on your, on your eyes and it allows you to see the creative through the eyes of the customer. It's important that you know this uh, because we're going to be using this heuristic in just a moment and I want to share with you further You'll notice there is green on the positive side of the equation. How many of you in email course remember the fulcrum? Remember the fulcrum? So imagine in the fulcrum, the green represents the positive side of that equation, and the red represents the negative side of that equation. And what did I just put up here? Well, I like to take a page and start with the negatives, i.e. friction and anxiety. Technically, this is psychological resistance and psychological concern. Someone might say, but why, what, aren't those the same? No, and here's why. You don't correct resistance the same way you do concern. You don't correct friction the same way you do anxiety. I learned this the hard way, I thought they were the same. But how many of you have a friend who, uh, no matter what you say to them, and they're very anxious about something, just telling them something rational doesn't make the fear and the anxiety go away? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, so the point is that you can correct friction very rationally. If there's difficulty, if you remove a form field, if there's length and difficulty, two times the friction. I mean, and you can, you can take those two types of friction and correct them, and the friction, uh, you know, goes down. But you can't do that with anxiety. You have to overcorrect it. And we'll teach that tomorrow. What I want you to understand is then that we're going to find a protocol. It's very important you understand the protocol because we're getting ready to look at a page together, and all I'm going to ask you to do in your team is start with the negatives on the right side, friction and anxiety, and I want you to think about how you're gonna correct it, because there's only three things you can do. This is sort of physics and philosophy combined. There's only three things you can do to solve for that problem. You look at the page, and you can either add an element, remove an element, or change an element. You can't do anything else. But the clarity of that means that you should, in your team, be able to come together and look and say, Wait a second, all right, so on the negative sides, what can I do about friction and anxiety? Where is it on this page? And the answer is, I'm going to add something, remove something, or going to change something. That's it. 